Let's go. Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Vincent Green. I'm your host, Noel John Tui. And this is Invasion of the Party Snatchers. Let's get to it, motherfuckers. Thwip, thwip. Thwip, thwip. Is this the flip-flop killer coming to kill us? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Noel, we're back. We're back for another fucking episode of Party Snatchers, but we're not back alone. And it's not just another episode of Party Snatchers. It's another episode of our fucking zombie series. And we didn't come back alone, like I said. And who we brought along with is to hunt some motherfucking zombies, bash the brains in these motherfucking dead motherfuckers. That is Roman the Swede Sanquist. We brought him back for the zombie series. And you all know what's the hitch of this motherfucking series? Is the guest picks the motherfucking movie. Roman, tell the folks who you are, what you do, and what movie you picked for us to watch today, motherfucker. All right. Uh, I've been here once or twice before, but I'm Roman. Love mm-hmm. fucking MDK. Mm. Oh, he's a fucking blast to be here. Mr. Um, Ikea. Ooh, Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I am part of uh, the Mr. Goodbeard podcast. Uh, slightly on hiatus for a while until mm. we figure some shit out. But, you know, it is what it is. And I am here to jump in on the zombie series because I love eating brains. And Mm-mm. I'm going to bring 28 Days Later to the table. I love it. So, Roman, why would you bring? Why'd you choose 28 Days Later? Watch your history of this fucking classic. Oh, well, I, I remember watching this one in the theater just fresh out of high school, and it was like a new take mm. at the time on, on how quick the zombies would run around and shit. Because, I mean, technically, it's not so much a zombie as it is a, a weird virus that makes you rage, rage, rage mm. you know. So it, it, it just it threw me off because, you know, I'm coming from like a Resident Evil style. Playing yeah. those video games all yeah. the fucking time, you know, and maybe seeing the first movie and, and the zombies are all still kind of fucking slow. And, you know, back in the, the old zombie movies, everything was slow. But these the Romero ones just go. Mm. Like, oh, they, yeah. They just, they just fucking go. And that, that like left a fucking huge impression on me. I was like, dude, these things can go any direction you want at yeah. this point. You really, really can change this and play with it and make it frightening. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, the turning period was quick as well. It wasn't like you got bit and dawn of the dead and stopped you died and the mic. You came back the next day. Put back, mm-hmm. <laughs> put back just a little bit. But a little bit, okay. Yeah. But I just yeah, I remember like Thank it was you. like a twelve sec, twelve seconds, ten seconds, and you're just you're you're a rage zombie then as well. So everything about it was so just so aggressive. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. It well, was. dude, and it starts with those uh, what the um. Animal the, the animal activists, yeah, yeah you know, of you know course. I mean? Like this is also <laughs> fucking stupid, dude. It's like you know, twelve monkeys all yes. over again. Yeah. Like yeah. looking at it, like like dude, like if twelve monkeys were a fucking zombie movie, it would be twenty eight days later. Yes, like, yes. like that's like how I can picture it, and that's how you know, I because I love twelve uh, monkeys. That was a great fucking movie too, and the mm. whole twist and plot, dude, and the way it works, you know, breaking the fucking crazies, breaking the goddamn monkeys out, and somebody gets bit. Next thing you know, everywhere. Yeah, it's Everywhere. like Everywhere. it's like twenty eight days later happened in between what we saw the two different massive events. What we saw in Twelve Monkeys, Bruce Willis going to the past, wasn't it, and then going to the future, right? Wasn't right. it the two different events? Him trying to stop. I mean, you could almost pandemic. you could almost connect them and make it into the fucking thing, dude. And that's how they're they ended up living underneath Twelve Monkeys the ground later. and shit in Twelve Monkeys in the future. Yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> oh, I hadn't thought about it like that, but that's a good fucking point, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it, man? That's <laughs> But like this is a landmark movie, yeah. Like as you said, Roman, like this is like we all grew up on slow zombies, Resident Evil, George A. Romero movies, and for the first time ever, even though they're technically not zombies, you know, the whole the argument, the rage victims or whatever, but they're right. zombified enough to change the landscape of zombie movies going forward. Like this had an undeniable influence on movies that preceded that the succeeded. It was like this was the genesis of the fast zombie, like you know. What did you think? Did you prefer slow zombies or did you like the sheer intensity that Danny Boyle brought with the rage victims? Roman, I think he's frozen. Yeah, it's frozen. hard to tell with Roman. <laughs> no, will you take the question there? Yeah, I'll take the question. Um, I, I, I remember I was really, really happy. Fuck, with, sorry, boys. Yeah, Take no, you're okay. for a second. Uh, I was really, really happy with it um, because I thought that there's the, the question was, did you like the take with the fast zombies? And, uh, and I the thought, intensity. Yes. The intensity was just so fantastic. The opening scene was great. And then mm. just London, you know, he wakes up in this world and then London is completely, the streets are empty, iconic. I always thought that was iconic. Yeah. And also just the fact that it's it's like everyone's on PCP but you. Like, mm, they, they, right. they might not be smart, but they're, they've are they got like the relentless, they're durable because it's not like you punch them in the stomach and they go, wow, that actually really hurt. I'm going yeah. to go slit this off, you know? So I, I, I thought like, wow, why not? Like, why not mm. twist 
and I know the zombie debate, but fuck the zombie debate. They're 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 after humans. They're 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 twisted humans. They're no longer really alive in the classic sense. They don't have any will or anything like that. And they're and they're after you. That's mm. zombies to me. That's good enough. Like, right. You know? So I just thought, yeah, why not? Why not have fun with it? Why not just change up the narrative? Um, yeah. So I loved it. Oh, I love this film. Though. This film's close to my heart. Uh, Roman, did you yeah. like that? The, the, the... Oh, dude, I love that they changed it, man. Like it it, it needs to be. Like the zombies have to evolve along, like the, the old, uh, the whole idea of it has to was, like evolve, or otherwise it's just gonna be stagnant and mm, yeah. one one thing on its own. And technically, yes, anytime a zombie is like a mindless fucking thing that's coming after fucking humans, because you, you know, or animals, the whole works, dude. And these things just go after any living creature, completely mindless, out of you know what I mean. They have no, and, and they just eat. Mm. I, 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 it's curious how long I'm, I'm like. I know there was the second movie, mm. but like how long those zombies survived? Because like I love Five how this weeks one was or just, six weeks or something, wasn't right? It? it was just short, dude. Like, and it was almost like a B-rated fucking filming wise, mm. like the yeah. style of it. You know what I mean? It, it, it was like like these cameras that are a little bit slightly older, dude, from further fucking angles and farther away. And mm. the actors that were in this fucking movie are fucking great, dude. Uh, what is it? Uh, Cillian Murphy, dude. That yeah. guy's fucking kick ass, dude. Like, be it you know. When he was a scarecrow and fucking the Batman, the mm. Nolan trilogy, yeah, Peaky dude, Blinders, Peaky yeah, Blinders dude. Mm. He, like, Sunshine. Yeah, that Quite guy nice fucking kills it, dude. Most recently, mm. maybe the biggest right? stories in recently. Brendan uh, yeah, Gleeson was there too. Fucking, and what is it? Who is it? Yeah, uh, Brendan Gleeson. Yeah, he was the yes. guy that got. Uh, he was yeah, the one yeah. the, the mini. The drop oh in yeah, the eye. Oh. Uh-huh. dude, that's so fucked. That's so fucked. Like that, dude. Just a drop right in his eye, and it off of that, and it's over, and it goes so quick too. The, he the just infection. has enough time to tell his daughter that he loves her, and he starts just telling her to fuck off. Get yeah, away from him, you know. Yeah, right. I, I thought the scene, the scene that really harrowed me the first time I saw it, the scene, you know, when Mark, there's three of them on the yeah. road, and then the Mark, they they go into the house to see Killian's fa- Murphy's character's family, and they're dead and what have you, mm. and uh, he gets bit when they, they inevitably show up, and sh- she looks at him, him, and he goes, "No way!" And she literally butchers him, just like she yeah. butchers him like a pig. She just, mm-hmm. he's just like literally squealing because he's been like, she puts his arm up and she just chops straight through it with the machete and she just keeps swinging until he stops screaming. And I was just like, that was harrowing. Cause mm-hmm. that's the thing. Imagine like you're going there or let's watch each other's back. But at the same time, right. let's be ready to kill each you, other. You have yeah. to at the right there on the hat. spot. That's dude. intense. Especially if that's it's normal. so intense. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like I'm not even affected. I don't want to take the chance. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. He sneezed. That's not one of the symptoms. I just think it. <laughs> dude, that, that would fuck with you psychically so much, dude. There's gonna there would be people that are surviving out there that are just killing people because they're mm. fucking worried. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. They yeah. just get close to them. You've been outside, dude. You're fucking changed, dude. If they came into your spot, dude, we'll just fucking hack away at them, dude. Yeah. The way, like, even, yeah. Like those military guys, dude. The military mm. guys with uh, what is it, Christopher Eskelin? Eckerson, dude, which is my favorite fucking doctor. Just gonna yeah. fucking throw it out there, dude. He was my favorite who? fucking doctor. Who? Huh? He, dude, who? Dude, who? Who? Christopher? Who? Doctor? <laughs> but fucking like that, how they um, you know, they're the only people with uh firearms because mm. like there's not a lot of firearms in the UK, I guess, or, or readily available yeah. as they are here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like so, setting up a zombie scene in a place like that where you know like a little military group like they have is armed and then it's pretty much law for them dude what they say fucking goes dude how oh, society yeah, crumbles so fucking quickly around mm. this shit dude because that's a month man a month after this fucking raging zombie fucking that's apocalypse it. happens because yeah. yeah, it, 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 it spreads so quickly that 10 12 seconds it's like in like World War Z and then another movie we're going to be covering during the series is that like Brad Pitt has that scene where he does the the, the 12 uh, seconds when the countdown with the, the kids toy and the spray the spread is it's uncontrollable like because like a normal zombie virus it's uh, I, I turn I bite Roman Roman dies but maybe six hours later from the infection the infection right. has to burn through him six hours he'll die could take him another two hours to come back Yep. That's eight hours. I didn't Roman may never bite another person, but with the rage uh, sickness, all I have to do is bleed on Roman, get it in his yeah. eye, get it in his mouth, and all the or a little it, cut, dude, somewhere exactly. else on something, dude. And it's just that's all it fucking takes. 12 and seconds then, later, you're fucking your rage monster gone. 
Uh, that's the difference, and that's yeah. why you can see why the there was a complete downfall of uh, British society in this movie over 28 days because you have 32 million people or whatever the population was back in the early 2000s, and then it's all massive urban areas. So as soon as this fucking uh, outbreak happens, it's going to be like wildfire. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, especially right. England's when... like that every World Cup anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, can you just rage. imagine waking up out of a coma like that motherfucker did, dude? That Walking was... around in that fucking shit, dude. Just like... Mm. What do you think I... of the similarities between the start of this and The Walking Dead? The Walking Dead, dude, right? The, like, I mean... Wakes when up did, in the, the, world, when did yeah. the Walking Dead come out, man? Both like, came out how... around the same time. Both Wasn't it close? They did it completely independently of one another. It's really right? weird. Mm. It is. Well, it's a great fucking idea. Uh, you can't yeah, waking up that, in it. You waking no up, context. Yeah. The internet. I mean, forget. Like, there's there's no internet to go on to. There's nobody you can call. Mm. It's just it just is what it is, and you just walk out with you can't understand any of it. And what it makes what he what goes into, I think it's a chapel or something, and he yeah. and he shines a light, and something comes up and looks at him. It's what makes that so fucking spooky. Mm. I right. just remember, even though I knew it was coming, there was something so impactful about the first one he runs into because it just looks at him like it's looking through him. And I remember getting a little chill and go, God, I forgot how much I loved this. Oh, I think The Walking Dead did it better though when Rick comes through the hospital. The girl. The scene. Yeah. 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 And I mean, he comes out and there's just like hundreds of dead bodies left on the loading bay. Well, I yeah. think it was scary yeah. as fuck because of how long he got to wander around without anything. He was yeah, going through yeah. the fucking squares, dude. He was walking up and down streets, Nothing. dude. He was looking at all the signs like that were posted on shit and mm. just trying to figure out like like what the fuck like that's yeah, nothing, scary. yeah nothing's even scarier isn't it yeah, because no, at least rick like, knew some sort of disaster occurred because all the dead right? bodies because yeah, yeah there's death I mean, he's just like it to him it's almost like it just everything vanished maybe he's and already dead you know, the rapture know, something uh-huh. you know what i mean like the rapture yeah. happened or something you, you have absolutely yeah. no idea he even says it at one point he's like is this real and he's like touching his face and he's touching the ground is this even real uh-huh. like, like you know what i mean because it's like yeah. roman said like he came out there's nothing like nothing like no even indication like not like there's a gun battle not like there's army stuff parked up everywhere not like that looked like there was barricades set up and lines were overrun and you seen all this day yeah it was like no, it was like everything tried to vacate and just disappeared, and then yeah. like he was left in an abandoned fucking place. But it wasn't really, but like that that in itself is so unsettling. And for that fucking character to wake up, dude, like he, mm. he fucking killed this one, dude. He he went through a fucking mental break through this whole fucking movie. That is, yeah, it's the same thing, dude. As this virus is, dude. Even for the people that are alive, dude, the breaks that they have are rapid and fucking crazy. You know, because he goes from being like a what a, a bicycle delivery dude, yeah, to fucking like. You know, hiding in the forest, killing <laughs> yeah. military dudes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 in a matter of what, like maybe five days? Yeah, if yeah. even, yeah. Boom. Yeah, yeah. I, Boom. I think it wasn't like Killian Murphy realized he had to become the monster. And like the only thing that actually could defeat these kind of people in this world was the rage monsters. That was the only thing they were feared. So I think right. Killian Murphy decided I have to actually become a rage monster to actually defeat these guys like you know it's like i have to reach into my inner prime and like right. urges or some shit oh, because because like, even the part where he kills that guy where he guides his eyes, eyes out like the the girl that was with him she nearly kills him um mm-hmm. because she thinks he's turned like that fucking yep. scene's incredible like you know well it could be argued dude that the whole thing dude even the people that aren't infected with the rage end up like psychologically infecting themselves with fucking rage in order to survive mm. you know what i mean so like everything is fucking broken at that point like that virus took over even if you don't end up getting it y- your psyche is going to go so fucking crazy because oh, you yeah. have to kill your friend as soon as it fucking happens mm. like y- you have to survive and you have to become this fucking ruthless monster without a care in the fucking world because if you care too much dude you you'd be dead man you know what yeah. i mean like, it, it, yeah yeah it's like the know. kid. Wasn't the kid perfectly? There was a scene where where he has his foot and he, on the kid. He gets a kid and puts him to the ground and he just bashes his brains in because the kid's baseball bat, be, and, but a baseball bat or a bar or whatever it was he had mm. on. And then he walks out. Was there anything in there? And he goes nothing. As in, it's not even worth talking about anymore. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's not like oh, I've just been through something actually, and I could really use a shoulder to cry on. It's like no, there that's why no kill you know. Damn yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, no, the guy just killed four guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh fuck this! I'm gonna kill this dude. You Can't got dick, you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I was Vinny definitely is, Vinny is Vinny is definitely the guy that hides a bite. 
Benny's one hundred percent the guy who gets bitten. Oh I no, know, man! I, I'm all about that glory death. I'd be the guy who gets bitten and walks out and he blows myself up and the horde is on. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Strap a fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm all about the guy the that stands death. with the detonator. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Like, like, man, I was like watching Vikings earlier. I was just like, if that was me, <laughs> like straight away, I'd be like, <laughs> if I ever got into, if I ever get into a situation where I know I'm going to die and I can save other people's lives, I'm going to go out glory like a motherfucker. Right. Right. Oh, 100% glory that's the best way to go it's like the best way to go yes they'll sing <laughs> songs about you yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Well, you'll will, you see know. the explosion in the sky no yeah, yeah, yeah. you went. <laughs> the smoke comes up in the shape of my uh, yep. head <laughs> 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 Miles around, Imagine it's sorry really, really cool, told. but the explosion sounded a little bit like a fart. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then it's just kind of funny, and then yeah. it's like all oh, <laughs> fits in the great flatulent one. <laughs> <laughs> no, his flatulence was legendary and explosive. Right. <laughs> dude, that's what you could use for the catalyst for your bomb, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you're tied up, dude, you can let one go and it's just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's it. This suppository is coming in handy now. All my suppositories from my little COVID boat. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, probably would like, do it. It's open ground. It's open <laughs> ground. <laughs> advance, advance. Imagine the zombies just go ooh and just don't right. approach me. <laughs> Fucking just <Yeah>. fall over. <laughs> I see the disgust spreading through the horde. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, fuck that. It cures them. And they slowly <laughs> wake up. Dude. Their minds start working again. They might still be zombies, like fucking physically. Their minds wake up and they're fucking alive again. <laughs> um, we have to talk about the mi- <laughs> we have to talk about those military guys. Mm. You know, you, you sit down, you kind of go, Yeah, I knew they were like there was obviously like and now for the rest of the film. There's 25 minutes left and everything's yeah. just going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, right. they're good guys. Seem like they're good guys. Good guys. Good, good guys. guys. You know, armed service dudes. They're definitely good guys. You know, well, you would think, dude. Like that's that's you know, if you find it and you're like, fuck, dude, this should be help. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? Like this should be fucking help, dude. And mm. that, yeah, no, that they uh it was it's almost it was almost cultish. Yeah. The way that was that it ended up running, dude. But, and, and still at the same time, dude, dude, like the breeding, like they straight up just wanted those girls for fucking breeding, dude. Yeah. This is it hasn't yeah. even been a month, dude. Yeah. It hasn't even fucking been a month. Dude, man. There's some fucking something wrong in here. I would man. advise anybody that if you have a daughter or a female partner or any kind of partner, never bring him to the forest where there's a lot of armed dudes just hanging out in this old estate house. Yeah. It's pretty much not going to end well, right? <laughs> You're slightly <laughs> outnumbered at that point. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like at this stage, like you know, like if you get into a situation at the end of the world where you're actually with two people that you know you can trust. I think you should count yourself lucky and head for the hills. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like, it's what mm-hmm. they did in the fucking, it's what they ended up doing afterward anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> find a cabin somewhere in yeah. the middle of fucking nowhere and just like try and yeah. stay there as long as you can yeah. until you have to finally move again, man. Yeah. Almost never make anything permanent, dude. Don't make yeah. it an actual home, dude. Have, enough, have a bug out bag and be ready to go at all times. Especially when they find out that like it's quarantine. Britain's only been quarantined that this is not right. a global event like you know what I mean mm-hmm. find high ground put a help sign hope for the best exactly yeah uh, exactly yeah lay mm-hmm. down the sign and fucking wait for it man yeah and wait for it yeah man that, that's one thing I love about this movie though is like when you think it's a global event that everything's over and he's in the woods and he fucking he's lying down right after the other dude's been executed and he escapes and, and he's lying down and you see this like fighter jet or an airplane Flying overhead, flying, that, yeah. yeah, man. That uh, realization is amazing. And he's don't like, do that. Like you're just like, it's not over. Yeah, Everything, like like a holy shit, dude. Like the rest, of, there's still other fucking shit in the world yeah. that's still going on, dude. Especially if you saw a jet flown around, you know. I mean, mm-hmm. at the same time, you did just deal with all those assholes in their fucking camp and their guns, anyways. But um, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, whoever's flying a yeah. jet has their mm-hmm. shit together a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, but I like it because the, the you other remember uh, the ha- going on, sorry. I just remember the door, Hannah, wasn't it, that the name of the door? Yeah. Every time yeah. she delivered the line, it was like, I'm reading a line now. I'm reading, I'm reading a line from the script now. Uh-huh. And then like just world-class acting around her. And then she right. delivers another line. <laughs> just world-class acting just around her. Play it off like the shock from the fucking whole thing, dude, I guess yeah. would be the yeah. fucking, you know what I mean? And I, you I, I, I know what I'm doing here. 
it's not even fucking oh, well, she was being like uh like because the dad was drugging her anyways wasn't he wasn't he giving her a little something to keep her off keep the edge off of no um killian murphy gave her half a sleeping tablet earlier oh, on. oh that's then. right and he freaked the fuck out that yeah. was it that's right that's yeah. right yeah, like that, the, the the best thing about it though, it it does show how quick human civilization can fall apart. Like you know what I mean? To say like it, we uh, most uh, cities only have about three days worth of food. If shit goes down. We saw during the right. pandemic like how panicked people can get. Like so, could you imagine if people are getting that panicked over uh, a virus that we can't see? Could you imagine right. how panicked they would get when you have like thousands of people? the virus is wearing their faces and not only that mm-hmm. he's like fucking running you down trying to fucking eat your face you know what i mean could you imagine how quick shit would have fallen apart like that's what i would have loved to see what happened in those 28 days it, because it looks like everybody tried to run from everywhere and then like the rage victims the rage people just like mowed them all down and the army right. just fell back to a place where yeah like it, it fucking put up the quarantine dude and it's just yeah. laying there waiting and like nothing's coming out you know yeah um like seven days would have been a great filler wouldn't it you know long enough yeah. that oh, it's yeah. absolutely Mark, gone to shit it's but, right but there's your book. fucking there's your netflix spin-off dude oh yeah fucking write them a series dude, that entire for month. seven days dude it you could, could be even a do one like four three fucking one series a episodes, week episodes dude yeah oh, incredible yeah man four episodes each episode covers one week of one limited yeah. little series, dude. A limited fucking series, just yeah. fucking four of them and, done, and that's it, dude. Ninety Nothing minutes else. per episode, bing, like. bing. exactly. Mm. It's a good time period because it's recent, but it's still yeah. before the re- the, re- uh, the rise of smartphones and social media right. and mm-hmm. information wasn't getting around quite as quick. People the bought morning newspapers. Way. Yeah, oh, you <laughs> might have an internet cafe with like some computers, of course. like yeah, some big fucking blockies mm. that are in there. You know what I mean? A fucking old school fucking Apple fucking Mac. You know, somebody be yeah. so, like that's that's about it. Somebody be getting their text saying like uh, "dombies on the done." This is a duck and ship duck talking. Yeah, it's duck and fawn. Do you remember that? Do you remember like eight? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it was the T9, right? Yeah. The T9 fucking T9 Texan system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get some strong thumbs doing that. Yeah, shit, man. Like, but the, yeah. remember how say, good we like, got at that for a while? Oh man, <laughs> I'm so fast at texting now. It's not even funny. Ever since, I, ever since I fractured my wrist a couple of years ago, and I had to learn how to text my left hand, and like I'm like ambidextrous now. I'm like fucking ambidextrous. ambidextrous. Yeah. Like <laughs> Coin that fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, like it's it's, it's awesome. It's like I, I can't right? it's playing Game Boy. You know what I mean? But like that's yeah, gonna like, be a quality you need when the fucking rage zombies come for you. You know? <laughs> gonna fucking save you. You see me like they're trying to eat my face, and I'm just like this <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> with my thumbs, just holding them back. Twitter knows <laughs> the whole world knows. They're trying to attack me. I'm just like, you carry around the little punching guys, dude. Yeah. You know, like, like, and then it just has two little fucking things in front of it. And you just go, yeah. and that's, that's how you fucking, that's your weapon for the yeah. zombies. Just little fucking robot guys. Put a little spike on the thing. Beat their fucking asses up. Unleash the bombs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's another one. I need to write that fucking down. I need to write that down. I got two. Li- I got two. Li- great character. Two li- tum chariots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like right there to the front of the line, like, and they're dragging my body behind them. <laughs> right, war paint on your thumb. <laughs> right, stripes oh, and little capes. <laughs> they're almost. I gloves. said, I don't care how. I don't care how angry they are. Thumb up the arse. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-eight thumbs later. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. I prepare. I prepare for two more. <laughs> That's your chant as you go into battle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just the whole fucking time, dude. Uh, little banner. You need a banner too. God damn. I can see this character. <laughs> And just like fucking t- uh, rocket propelled grenades uh, attached to each tome, like what right. tiny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, like crayon size. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, um, I think I, I think this film stands up, doesn't it? 
Well, yeah, just, 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 oh, oh, it truly does. I, mm. I think this film is still fucking relevant in the whole fucking zombie mm. landscape, dude, because landmark. because of how it changed. It's landmark, yeah. Mm. You know, and fucking uh, the the actors that are in are fucking great. A lot of them. Yeah. And the feel of the movie was scary as fuck almost the whole way through. But at the same time, you know, early two thousands, you get the happy ending too. Yeah. So, it, like, I, I, I'm. This is definitely one of my fucking favorite zombie movies for yeah. fucking sure. It's a bit disappointing that we didn't get to see Killian Murphy and um, what's that other actor's name? No, the, his love interest in it. Can you? Naomi oh, Harris Naomi. or something. Like that. Yeah, Naomi. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Selena. Naomi Harris. And uh, oh, Naomi Harris. Uh, so, like, it, it would have been good if we saw. She won an Oscar for Moonlight. Did she? Did she? She know. definitely got nominated. I think didn't she? It's for like a crack addict. She's I, fucking awesome. Isn't it? But um, I, I would have been cool to have seen those characters return in the sequel. I know Robert Carlyle came right. back and we had um, Jeremy Renner and uh, Imogen Poots, but like, it would have been really, really cool to have seen the next stage of uh, Killian Murphy's character's journey. And what the fuck was his character's name? John? Uh, John, was it? Uh, no, no he's... It's... Fucking dude. What is his character's name? Second. I'm all over. Jim. Rodney. Jim. Jim. Rod- Rodney? Jim. That doesn't Not John, Jim. Rodney. <laughs> 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 Rodney Feffelsberg that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Dude, it would have been cool just to have like a little cameo of him with yeah. just a flyover mm. like in the beginning of the next movie and oh, see their fucking like like their fucking cabin with them doing shit out like uh, just staying away from everything and then a fly into whatever the fucking next movie would like I mean that would have been great man I would have started with his body dead on the ground like do you remember that zombie <laughs> Do you remember that zombie that the show all emaciated and shit when being yeah. amazing flew over and you just saw his body on the ground? Like that would be fucking awesome. If you're not gonna have him back, you might as well kill him awesomely. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah. like it wouldn't have been hard to do because all you would have to do is get a mold of his face. Oh yeah, and you could kill anybody in a zombie ap- apocalypse. Yeah. Doesn't matter, dude. You could write anybody dead in that unless yeah. they got the fucking thumb wall. I don't need to explain <laughs> <Thumb> it. <wall. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Erect the thumb wall. <laughs> it has never been breached in a world now. <laughs> um, I I just thought this film was excellent. I thought I always thought as well that we kind like of to have seen Killy Murphy come back though. No, just sorry before you. Move you know, I, I I kind of like when the when a quiet place two came out. I thought because like it didn't come out for a while. Obviously, there was that that period between the movies, and I remember thinking, the well, now the, the yeah the pandemic. <laughs> but I do <laughs> remember thinking that period. Is that what we're that period? Yeah, 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 I've, I've already forgot about the it. But, it cycle. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but I thought that um they should have they could have gone anywhere in the world. Hmm. You know, they, 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 what they've done is introduce a type of bad guy that is like a global level threat. Exactly. And they could have gone to fucking Scotland. They could have gone to anywhere in the, in the Americas. But they kind of went back to the family. That's good. But I thought with 28 weeks later, I thought, yeah, absolutely. Like this could be everywhere. Why not like expand? Mm-hmm. Why not? So I thought like, yeah, why not? It, You know, I, I, I did. I really thought, why not? Um, And they could, you know, if they had, had decided to make a 28 months later and it's like the they zombies should've. are gone. The zombies are gone or mostly gone. Well, they're in Paris now. We see that at the end of 28 weeks. Later. Yeah, actually, right. that's yeah. So they could have they could have keep going, but uh, so no, I, I I like the fact that the the story is actually the pathogen or the story is actually the bad guy for once. Yeah, or the thing mm-hmm. that we should fear as opposed to being a, about. So it was from <laughs> fair. It was from Jim's <laughs> perspective, and then they could just go and it's from somebody else's perspective so i kind of yeah. like that and i wish i wish the quiet place had done it i thought they could yeah. could have expanded and had a bit of fun with it so um i think it's well, a, i think it's a ballsy move so no i do i did i did appreciate the quiet place uh issue is though because of millicent simmons being the one that discovered the way of defeating the creatures you kind of have to continue the yeah. abbott story to expand the world if you know what i'm saying whereas 20 yeah that's true it's not really hamstrung because like as far as we know jim and um you know, uh, Naomi, what was her characters? I'm sorry, uh, uh, Selena. Naomi, Selena. Uh, Selena. So when Jim and Selena, Naomi Harris, when they uh, uh, and Kitty Murphy, when we in our minds, whether or not we saw it or not, we think they got off the island, right? Them and Hannah, because they put the help sign, the, the yoke flew really, really low. But like, I would have loved to have seen a continuation of his character, and you could tell pretty much the exact same story, and, like, you know what I mean? You really could have, like, you could have had Robert Carlyle, you could have had him. Be, you know, being infected and all those things, and you could have had uh, Killian Murphy being one of the survivors with Jeremy Renner and Imogen Poots, 
You know what right. I mean? Like, I think you could have done that. I, I say there was probably a case of not being able to get Killian Murphy to come back more than not wanting to bring Killian Murphy back. Could be an issue, you know? Possibly, yeah. Yeah. Could have, like, I mean, when was when was, when was 28 weeks later and when was Batman? 20, yeah. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. Tw- 28 weeks later was actually released in 20, 2007. Uh, and fucking Batman was 2008 or something, wasn't it? Batman. Oh Begins. yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, he could have been he could have been working that one at that same time. Batman. Begins. Was Batman? But yeah, like he, his his star his star was beginning to rise. Batman Begins was I was supposed to think it was all five. All so five. it might have been yeah. He's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd moved on to he'd moved on to different prey at that stage. Yeah, exactly. Um, but Upwards you know, again, trajectory. this was a huge vehicle. This was a vehicle for him. Yeah. I think I think this film probably surprised people, didn't it? I, I, I mean, it, when he was when Danny Boyle was making it, do you think he knew he had such a, as what would become an iconic cornerstone of the zombie of the zombie universe, the what the larger universe? I don't think he knew what he actually had on his hands when he made it. Like I just think like it's not only did it it's such a good movie that it not only kind of launched Danny Boyle into the mainstream stratosphere, it launched Killian Murphy, it brought Brendan Gleeson up to another level. I uh, brought Alex Garland, the guy who wrote it. Uh, he was like an author, uh, and he he's fucking done everything. He's like directed Ex Machina now. He did right. uh, Devs. He he fucking wrote a new Dread movie. I think he directed it as well. Like you know what I mean. So, I love that movie. To tell uh, the truth, I love that new Dread movie too. Like mm-hmm. I don't know how it didn't get a sequel. So, yeah, like, same. Like, no, something Noel always says when you see so many things that are way worse than that actually get sequels. It kind of annoys you when good movies don't get sequels. And not only that, yeah, it was absolutely. a decent reboot too. For fuck's sake, dude! It was mm. Like a decent reboot it, that should have that warranted. Easily, yeah, easily a sequel that didn't even have to follow anybody that was in it once again. Yeah, oh, you man. know what I mean. Yeah. I was so disappointed that didn't get a sequel or even a TV series. Like I can't imagine anyone else playing Dreadnought and Carl Urban. Like no. he looks exactly like him almost. You know what I mean? And he kept mm-hmm. the fucking helmet on. That was always yeah. a big thing. That for... was his prerequisite because he was a massive uh, Dread fan. He was like, "I'm yeah. not going right. to do the role." Um, yeah, yeah. But, like, especially when you're like uh, when you're very very famous. We know what you look like. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Don't yeah, worry yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know you're, you're going to be on the red carpet and at the yeah. award ceremony. It's the yeah. fine. The character too. <laughs> no, that's part of the contract. I get to wear it to all the fucking red. <laughs> yeah, 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 fucking yeah, helmet yeah. the whole yeah. fucking time. Uh, a brown paper bag with a question mark on it. Uh, just <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely fantastic. What a vehicle for what a vehicle for Danny Boyle. What a vehicle yeah. for it shows Gillian you once more. What horror does like it gets it gives the opportunity mm-hmm. for young talent, not so much Brendan Gleason because Brendan Gleason being a brave heart and everything at this stage, but that was right. so that was only seven years previous. This is still Brendan Gleason building to the legendary actor we know that he is today. Same with Killian Murphy, like Danny Boyle, legendary director, Alex Garland, legendary writer, legendary director. Now that all came from 28 days later, like not all right. them, like didn't like, get their star here, but you know what I mean? This was but, the yeah, movie no, that exploded. This was the catalyst, career. dude. The, the, yeah, exactly. The, the, the propelled it, like each in, yeah. the, in their fucking like an explosion and it sends them all their ways, dude. Yeah. They, they build. Yeah. Yeah, man. And horror, yes. the horror genre does that better than any other genre, in my opinion, because you can make them for cheap. You can get young talent that's hungry. It, it gives you a, a chance to show a wide range of your acting abilities in terms of like your physicality, your rage, your uh, compulsion to show fear, all these things and give bring you out yeah. make you look like action-y. Like that's what the best thing about a movie. It's like a good this. Like John Krasinski in A Quiet Place, he would just go back to that. That was the mm. first time. Like he really, really left Jim from yeah. the office behind for yeah. me right. in that. I seen him as this guy. Like, he had the beard. He was kind of he rough. buffed up a little bit. He had the family. He was rough and r- ready to rumble. Oh, he dies to him and his family. And uh, yeah, and now and now I just think, wow, this guy's an actor. This guy's a director. Now now he's just like Jim. It's fun to look back at the office, but it's not what I think of him now. I think of him right. as a wider actor. Yeah. yeah. So can Kelly Murphy kind of it's the same. You can just but it is. I think that's great, and I think. If somebody says to me, show me. If somebody said to me, show me a film I have not seen, I would probably delve, always delve into horror because I think they yeah. really, when they do it mm-hmm. right. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of recycled trash. Probably more of that in horror as well. But mm-hmm. when when there's something new that's really, really new, like when yeah. Twenty Eight Days came out later, nobody had seen this movie. No, this was yeah. not a carbon copy of anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, like and it, it just it, as we talked about, like it changed the horror genre like it changed the zombie sub- subgenre because now we have this whole new idea of what zombies could be or what zombies are 
that they can be fast, that they can be agile, they can be this ferocious wave of fucking intensity that just kind of washes over you. Like we get to see that yeah. into more of a greater effect, like nine years later, 11 years later, sorry, in World War Z, 2013. And right. uh, or I think it was 2013. No, what was that? I think it was 2013, man, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's just like we get to see that the evolution of that started here. You look at even likes of uh, I'm Legend, like the kind yeah, of yeah, vampire, yeah. the kind of vampiric zombie. Uh, in that too. Once again, dude, because they're not necessarily they're not classic like zombies, but it still opens the door to this kind of fucking yeah. direction for the the genre on its own. Like it was definitely a, a it, it was not only a springboard for all the actors and everything. It was a springboard for a, a definition. Like like a sub genre, a hundred percent borderline. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like when somebody gets a word and just put their own the kind of tang to it. It means the same thing, but in a different way. You know right. what I mean? Like it's still zombie. They still like say zombie or whatever, but the way they were affected is completely different. Yeah. And the they way colored they, outside the lines a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and the way yeah. and the way they reacted to the infected or to the infection is completely different. But in the essence of it, zombies get boiled down to their need to feed. These get by down to their need for rageful acts, need for destruction, and then that turns to cannibalistic nature. So, right. in the end of the day, it still boils down to your primal need to feed, to survive, to exist. So, whether or not these are rageful creatures that run around very quickly, unlike the zombies that we know, at the end of the day, like any other zombie, they're boiled down to one singular emotion. And that's why I think, you no, know, they're fast or slow or rageful, or they're infected by rage or the T virus and Resident Evil or whatever. Mm-hmm. That if you buy a human down to one emotion, you zombify them. In my opinion, I think like we see that today, even in like the mass people being zombified for by propaganda, you're zombified to whatever. If you are controlled or brought boiled down to one emotion, whether that be through infection or someone else out of control, you've been zombified, and that's right. what that's what rage rage victims have. They've been zombified, but to the point of just being nothing but rage instead of just being this living need to feed, like with the classic yeah. zombie. Potentially, like, I mean, we could take zombie genres in any direction because of, mm. the, like, this, the way it turned. Yeah. And it, it made it accepting. To, like, I mean, you could make it, like, digitalized zombies. Mm. You, know, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, it just because, yes. And, well, even to the point where, like, what if it's a computer controlling people's brains after they've jacked into them and then there's yeah. zombies at that point at a yeah. digital fucking level you know what i mean yeah. like, like what mark zucker was trying to do with the metaverse well, <laughs> <laughs> that's right we're topical oh he <laughs> is the fucking dude he's yeah. once that gets here i i i'm going full bore again um but you can always find me mr goodbeer podcast.com uh that's still running check out all the stuff we put out before <laughs> I know we've had you guys come hang yeah. out with us. Um, Check out that one, especially. Do, do. <laughs> and, um, hey, I'm always a voice for anybody that wants a hand, dude. Yeah, I'm absolutely. He's, yeah. he's there with our friends at Sardom. He's there with our friends at the ROC. That's Return of the Critics, for people that don't know what acronyms are. And, um, <laughs> yeah, you watch this space. There's going to be plenty more coming from Robin, thanks for being with us, and thanks for um, picking an absolutely awesome movie, because some people pick so We've been watching movies from the 30s and 40s, and it's been interesting. But it's great to go back to an absolute, absolute classic, a film that raised me 28 days later. Oh, yeah. All right, Roman, thanks a million. Hey, man. Been a blast, dude. Thanks All for right. having me, Vinny. Cheers, right. dude. No. Honestly. Vinny, no. Where's, where's Vinny? Yeah, where's no, Vinny? But we've lost <laughs> Vinny, so I'm going to try and close this out by myself. Uh, Get it. He was your host, Vincent Green, and I am your host, Noel John Tui. That'll just have to do. <laughs> and thanks for being with us. <laughs>